Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Soundbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems and today's system is from the user 9 dot 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 in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending in their simulation and I did check their name it literally is 9 dot 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 it's not just the Discord making it uh, any less or anything um, their Steam name is just symbols so that's what I got to go off and, um, for this one but yeah their system is called the Telio system so let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, his description actually says 9FQ. I recognize that name. Okay, cool. All right, so workshop. It should already be here for us. Let's have a look. Telio system. Here we go. The thumbnail for it looked quite interesting. So let's see what we got in store. Okay. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. What's this? Right. The Telio system is inhabited by the... Is it Felucian? A descendant series of humans that is located within the Lazarus galaxy. Varuna MG1 is also with this galaxy. It's considerably more massive galaxy than Milky Way. The uh, Telesian fled to it during the Lazarus exodus. They were prosec prosecuted back in the Milky Way. Uh, back in the Milky Way, looked over and killed in senseless conflicts. This is why they fled and founded their own civilization millions of light years away. Using warp technology, they came across the star Telios and terraformed some of the worlds there. They also began to mine their worlds. Um, worlds that aren't purple no longer exist, they were mined, okay. Interesting. Right, so where, so where are we heading, actually? So, oh, this is cool. So it's a huge simulation of different stars all in this region. Okay. So where exactly are we heading? So we're heading to... Is it, are, we, are we heading here? Where, where, where are the planets? We need to find this one first. SDA. That one. So we're... Oh, yeah, to tell you. So zero light years, okay. So this is everything in the surrounding area. Okay, right, so here we are. Oh, whoa, what's all this? The particles. It's got some fancy settings going on here. Okay, whoa, my God, look at that. But we'll keep it this way. So the purple ones are objects that no longer exist from what his description was saying. So those two are down. So this is the first of the actual planets. It's losing a lot of particles. Oh, yes. Looks pretty funky. A water world that is losing its atmosphere. Oh, yes, losing a lot of it. Look at that. Alright, next up we're heading to Horan. Okay, here it is. The original life in the species first was here. Um, there was bacterial life in the oceans before the Felizian arrived, but it had never evolved. Okay, so next up, this planet here. It's another dead one. So this world over here is the home world at the moment. The current home world of most uh, Telesians. Okay, nice. Got this one here as well, a moon to go with it. Oh, it looks things, there it is. Okay. We've got another world over here. A cloudy world with uh, that Empress of the First Thalesian. Okay. And the moon as well, there it is. So they both are okay. Next up, we're heading to RC over here. Cold, harsh environment. This is where the mining guild is formed via slave labor. The mining guild destroyed all of the moons around uh, the planet, and the emperor passed a law that meant they needed to get permission to mine certain planets. Okay. There's a lot of objects around there. Some little transport things, and then those are dead moons. Okay. Now we're heading to Lempest over here, gas giant. Largest planet in the system is also unremarkable. Okay. Oh, we're flying through this one, aren't we? Uh, we've got this one here. A moon around the ice giant. It's one of the first ever colonies. Um, it is left intact so pilgrims going to Varuna can visit and see what their ancestors had to endure so they could thrive. Okie dokie. Salby over here. Salby. Here we go. The scene of a massive chemical weapons attack taken place by a terrorist cell. They poisoned the atmosphere from orbit, leading to an estimated 860 million deaths. The planet was left untouched and is a common visiting point by pilgrims making their way to Varuna to honour the innocents that lost their lives in an act of senseless violence. It's a rather short system. I wasn't really up to it. It was to say on Discord when you pinged off a system. Right, okay. Have fun visiting these stars um, and recommend us to put around them. Okay. Okay, alright, so okay. okay. Interesting. So it's an expanding uh, reason. Whoa, all this. That's all the other uh, objects. So that's the last of the objects then. Okay, there wasn't much in the kind of customization. They're all quite 
bland objects. Uh, last up, we've got Lunda over here. Is this one? It went just went from all the descriptions just to that. <laughs> it was a bit random. Uh, right. Okay. So there we go. There's that gas giant. It has a load of more moons around it as well. Oh, these ones have got more customization. All methane oceans. Interesting. So there they all are there. And then all these other stars. Is there planets around these other stars? Or. No, it's all this transport. I don't think there is. I think that's the last of them. Yeah, there's no objects around there. So they're all lone stars, and that's that's how entire system is that, pretty much. Okay. I mean, the one thing I would suggest is just more customization, I guess. If we just get the lineup of... Uh, there's all the stars. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, a lot. So going all the way down to here, you can see a lot of these look fairly non-customized. So my main feedback here would be just needs more customization. It looks pretty... It looks like it was put together quite quickly, I guess. Um, so blah, blah. And the objects don't really look heavily customised, so... There they are, but that is it. Nonetheless, that is uh, everything for this system. So if we just go all the way over here... I do like the, um, I do like the star map kind of systems, though, where it's got everything all really far apart. It's quite cool. But it's just a shame there's not really much around any of these stars. They're all just the lone, empty star systems. But yeah, there we go, nonetheless. That is it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, press that like button. Help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers. Uh, let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well, everybody. And if you'd like your own system submitted, the upload chat in my Discord server is currently open, so you can submit your systems in there. But please make sure you read the rules and regulations before making a submission as well, as we do have um, specific rules, yeah, regulations of uh, what needs to be done before you upload a system, just so it has enough objects, so it's not too short, things like that, um, so it's worth of going in a video. Um, but yeah, that will send down no run. Make sure you have a great day out there, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.